Hey, all you bookies out there. I got another review for you. Um, actually, I should have had the book ready. It is Night World by A.M. Jenkins. I did a review, if you saw it, on Re Repossessed by A.M. Jenkins, and I enjoyed that book so much that I got another one. This is from the library. I've, I've not seen them in the bookstores, so um, I just went to the library and got another one by the same author, and I really enjoyed it. It's called Night World, it, and it says under here, don't call them vampires. It's about vampires, and that's one thing about the book I didn't really understand. I guess there was like some real stereotypes about vampires that these vampires didn't like, and I think that, I guess that's why, but they call themselves hemis or he hemivores, and then they call the regular human people omnis or omnivores. So they do, but they are vampires. They drink blood. They can't go out in the sun or the light. Um, but they don't like to be called vampires. But um, to me, it was kind of like, I mean, that didn't bother me in the book. It was kind of interesting that it was different like that. But I kept thinking about that saying, if you call a rose by any other name, does it smell as sweet? It's kind of like, if you call a vampire by any other name, is it anything less than a vampire? Does it still drink blood? <laughs> so, does it still the nature of a vampire? So, just a little tidbit thought there for you. But, um, I really enjoyed reading this. The thing, this author, A.M. Jenkins, is becoming one of my favorite authors because she really writes interestingly. Like, I'm the kind of reader that I read for the end of the book. Like, how is this going to end? How is this going to end? That's like my draw. Like, I read for the end of the book. And so, books I really enjoy, it's nice to reread them a second time because sometimes, like, I am pushing for, you know, to get to the end to find out what happens so much that I don't think about things that I probably should during my reading of the story. So, um... This book, though, it is, I really enjoy reading it. I'm not caring so much about the end, and that's how I felt with the Repossessed book that she wrote. Um, she just, the way she writes, you just, the, the character's thoughts and, and things, you just get kind of soaked into it. Um, so, this was a 3.5, 4.0 book for me, star-wise. And um, the reason being is because it wasn't a book that I just absolutely couldn't put down, and but it was a book that um, I really was happy to pick up and really enjoying my reading time. So I do recommend this book. Um, I think girls would like it. Of course, I'm a girl and I like it, but definitely guys. It's about an 18-year-old, um, well, actually like three 18-year-old vampires mainly. Cole, Sander, and Gordon, and they call him Gordo. Gordo is a new, brand new vampire, and I won't tell you how he gets made into a vampire, because that's part of the book. I don't want to give any spoilers, but mainly Cole and Sander end up taking Gordo on a road trip to kind of show him the ropes, so to speak, um, about being a vampire and how to get blood without getting caught and like without hurting people really and so it's really interesting but the main really underlying of the story at least for me is all about the growth of this one of one of the particular vampires and him really thinking about what love is and about what he is as a vampire and where he stands in life and it's really really enjoyable um, there's another vampire named Johnny and of course I kept picturing Johnny Depp <laughs> although these vampires are pretty young so Johnny Depp isn't that young anymore but he's still my Johnny so when I hear the name Johnny I think of Johnny Depp but um, this Johnny vampire has a um, safe house called The Building, and it's a safe house basically for vampires, and so that he runs and he's like the leader of. And um, the other thing with the book is they are 18, but yet for me, when I would read it, I would forget that they were that young because they seem like so mature and grown up and they are because um, Cole is like over 300 years old 
So I started to think of him as an older guy, but then at one time he's pointing out these, he sees these younger girls and one of them's like giggling and he's like, all oh, they would be easy prey. So he goes over to him and I'm thinking, why would these girls want to, you know, let him sit with them or whatever, you know, this older guy. And I thought, wait a minute, he's 18. His body is 18. So I kept getting reminded of that through the story, which I think is is good writing because even though his body was 18, he was 300. So you're not going to act like an 18 year old. So really good book. I really recommend it. So um, I hope you guys will give it a try. I'm going to go look for more of her books. They're real easy reads because if you can see that, it's a short book in in length. And there's the writing is like really easy to get through. So um, I hope you try it. And guys, I just want to say thanks for subscribing. We have had so much fun. We've got um, some subscribers from all over the place, which is so great because otherwise we wouldn't get to be able to know you guys and to be able to talk to you without um, YouTube So and us doing this. So it's so great to get to know you guys. I love getting your comments and being able to talk to you. Um, so thanks so much. I hope you guys enjoy our videos like we enjoy doing them and we enjoy meeting you guys and hearing from you. So just wanted to say a quick thanks. And if you haven't um, listened to our podcast, it's on iTunes and it's of course called YA Fiction Freaks. Right now we're doing a chapter by chapter. We just got finished with a chapter by chapter of Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. We're getting ready to go into book two and do a chapter by chapter on Catching Fire. And then our next book that we're going to do our chapter by chapter on is going to be Hush Hush uh, by Becca Fitzpatrick. Um, we're actually rereading Catching Fire because we've read it. But And then we do the chapter by chapter. We do um, we're going to try to do about four chapters every podcast. And then we, of course, share news with you, book news, stuff like that, some fun stuff about uh, books. And also, um, when we do Hush Hush, which will be our, our next book, we haven't read that. So it's going to be us reading it newly, new every time. And we're only going to read four chapters and then review it. So we're not going to know what happened in the, in the book. So that's going to be fun. So check that out on iTunes. And also, of course, our Facebook page. Become a fan on Facebook, and you can talk back and forth with us. It'd be great. So thanks, guys, and happy reading. Bye. i got to go to work now. See ya. Hey, guys, one more thing. I need your help. Should I read Forest of Hands and Teeth, The Summoning, or Beautiful Creatures? Please comment below and help me out. Tell me what I should read. Whatever I get the most requests for, that's what I'll read, and I should have a review up by next week for you. So help me. Thanks. Bye.